Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League. Here we are for our first ever GT race car tournament. Well, it's about time. This tournament is brought to you by Han Kook Tire. You can visit them on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. The links are in the description below. I cannot wait to see these cars. Let's look at the lineup for Group 1. We have Adam Munch in the BMW M3 GT2. Then we have Rodney Sandstorm driving in the Corvette C8R. Driving in the black and red Audi R8 LMS is Jean Prix. And finally, we have Sir Richard May Clarkson driving in the Bentley Continental GT3. Here's a look at the results from the qualifying round. Adam Munch is the number one seed going into this tournament. If you'd like to see future qualifying rounds and other behind the scenes bonus content, consider becoming a 3D Bot Maker channel member. If you join at the pit crew level, you'll get access to member exclusive behind the scenes videos. And all channel members get access to sneak peeks, previews, and an opportunity to suggest names for the drivers. Hit that join button to join the crew. And here we go at the start of the GT tournament. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to mention one important thing. What is it? Instead of the usual four race format, Every group will compete in eight races. Oh, nice. Double the racing action. That's right. 3D Bot Maker is now giving you 50% more. What a deal. Adam Munch out in the lead. John Pree in second. He's closing in on him. And race one will go to Adam Munch, followed by John Pree, Richard May Clarkson, and Rodney Sandstorm in fourth. That was a close race between Adam Munch and John Pree. Rodney Sandstorm in the yellow Corvette was in second place, but John Pree overtakes his car going around turn two. That was a great pass. We have some real competitive racing going on. Well, maybe not from Sir Richard May Clarkson. You know that name sounds strangely familiar. Uh, doesn't ring a bell for me. I just can't put my finger on it. Here we go at the start of race two. Rodney Sandstorm on the front right, Richard May Clarkson on the front left in the green Bentley. This time, Rodney Sandstorm leading the pack. He's flying around that turn. Adam Munch right behind him in second place. Richard May Clarkson in third. Adam Munch trying to pass. And Rodney Sandstorm shuts the door on him. Richard May Clarkson pulls into second. Well, maybe he's not Captain Slow. He just needed some power. Race two will go to Rodney Sandstorm, followed by Richard May Clarkson, Adam Munch, and John Pre takes fourth. A great race there. Rodney Sandstorm looking strong. Adam Munch currently on top of the scoreboard with seven. Rodney Sandstorm has six. Look at this exchange right here around turn two. Adam Munch finds an opening, tries to pass, but Rodney Sandstorm shuts him right down. And then Richard May Clarkson sees the opportunity and passes up Adam Munch. Here we go into race three. We have Sir Richard May Clarkson on the front right in the green Bentley and John Pre on the front left in the black and red Audi. John Pre currently three points behind the leader. It's a close pack going into turn one. They're all staying in formation. Let's see who's gonna break loose. Here comes John Pre, followed by Adam Munch. Adam Munch with a tap on the back end of the Audi. The Audi spins around. Here comes Adam Munch and Clarkson. John Pre gets pushed around. He's still going. And John Pre will pick up his first win, driving in reverse past the finish line. And he is now your current leader wow. on the board with nine points. Three DNFs on a race can really shake up the scoreboard. I did not expect to see John Pre on top. I thought he was gonna wreck on turn three. He was going backwards. Then he gets hit multiple times by Adam Munch and Sir Richard May Clarkson, but he held onto it and drove that thing backwards like a pro. Anyone can win driving forward. The true test is can you do it going in reverse? Well, we have seen some of the best drivers in this league do just that. Here we go at the fourth race. After this, we'll have a mandatory pit stop. Then the drivers will line back up based on their current score. And then they'll race four more times. Yep, 50% more racing by 3D Bot Maker. That is amazing. John Pre in the lead, Adam Munch not far behind. Rodney Sandstorm back in third. John Pre, your current leader, looking to add another five points to his score. He's swerving. Whoa, oh, he's down! Oh, Adam no. Munch takes over! Wipeout! And Adam Munch takes his second win of the day after knocking over Jean Pre in the Audi. Oh man, Jean Pre totally had that one and lost it all on the last turn. He's gotta be disappointed. That's gonna move Adam Munch back up into the top spot with 12 points. Jean Pre is tied with Rodney Sandstorm. Both of them have nine points. Here's another look at that last turn. You can see him swerving right here. Then Adam Munch goes high and Jean Pre goes low. You know, I'm not even sure if Adam Munch was responsible for that fall. It looked like John Pree was already falling over. Four races in, and we've got some great action already. Don't go anywhere. The second half of this race is coming up after the break. Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League GT Car Tournament brought to you by Han Kook Tire. The cars have lined up based on their points. John Pree and Rodney Sandstorm were tied. 
So we looked at their times to determine their starting position. It turns out the positions for the second half is exactly the same as the start of this race. Well, that matches up with the qualifying. Adam Munch back on the lead. Rodney Sandstorm gets tangled up with John Pree. John Pree is off the track. Sandstorm comes to a stop. Adam Munch all alone. It's like practice day on the track. And Adam Munch will take his third win of the day. Is anyone else going to join him? That's going to be a huge points boost for Adam Munch. He is now up by eight points. Rodney Sandstorm and Sir Richard May Clarkson get stuck over on McClyde Strait. Jean Pri off the track. Here's the replay of how that went down. Rodney Sandstorm got sideways in front of Jean Pri. Then he gets pushed off the track by Richard May Clarkson. Jean Pri messing up the signage. Is this race sponsored? Yes, this entire tournament is brought to you by Han Cook Tire. Oh, cool. I didn't notice until he hit that sign. So this whole time, you didn't know... How did you not... You know what? Never mind. Adam Munch now with a huge lead in points with three races to go. I'd be surprised if he doesn't move on to the finals. Keep in mind the top two will advance onto the final round. So I think the question here is, who will take that second place spot? Right now, Rodney Sandstorm out in front. Adam Munch right on his tail in second place. Clarkson in third. Rodney gaining some distance here now. That Corvette looks fast out there. Rodney Sandstorm cleaning out the final turn, and he will take his second win of the day, followed by Adam Munch, Sir Richard May Clarkson, and John Pree. That's going to move Rodney Sandstorm into second place. He's got a four-point lead now over Jean Prix. Adam Munch's eight-point lead is now reduced down to six. With two races to go, anything is still possible. Anything except Sir Richard May Clarkson coming in first. Well, yeah, he technically cannot come in first in points, but he's still a contender for second. Uh, no, he's not. It's possible. It's not likely, but it's it's possible. Always the optimist. It's a close race into turn one. Jean Prix with a slight lead. Now he's getting some distance from the pack. Adam Munch moves into second. Let's see if he tries to take out John Pri again. John Pri needs to be careful here. Some more swerving, but he makes it out. He's wild on that turn. And John Pri will take the win, followed by Adam Munch, Sir Richard May Clarkson, and Rodney Sandstorm. And that will tie John Pri with Rodney Sandstorm. They both have 15 points with one race left. Those will be the two to watch to see who can take that second place spot to join Adam Munch in the finals. John Pree still having trouble navigating that last turn, but this time he made it out alive. Here we go, one race left. Second place spot is up for grabs between John Pree and Rodney Sandstorm. John Pree with the advantage here, he's starting off in the front spot in the pole position. Rodney Sandstorm starting all the way back on the left. Another close race coming down the first straight. Adam Munch in the lead. John Pree now catching up. John Pree wants that spot in the finals. Adam Munch is closing in on him. John Pree holds on to the lead through turn two. He's swerving again. Adam Munch is side by side with John Pree. He passes. John Pree now in second. Rodney Sandstorm in third. Wait a minute. Here comes Rodney Sandstorm. Whoa, Rodney Sandstorm passes John Pree right before the finish line. And that's going to put Rodney Sandstorm in the top two. He will be advancing on to the final round along with Adam Munch. What a race. That was such a clutch move by Rodney Sandstorm. I thought John Pre had him. Well, look at this. John Pre had the lead here. Then he bounces off the wall there, bounces off the wall there, hits that wall. That's where Adam Munch overtakes him going into the last turn. But look at how far back Rodney Sandstorm is in the yellow Corvette. Keep an eye on his car right there. Makes the pass right before the finish. I love it. Close racing right down to the line. And there's your first two finalists of this tournament, Adam Munch in the blue BMW and Rodney Sandstorm in the yellow Corvette. Coming up next week in group two, we have Monica Ray Brandt in the SRT Viper, Jakob Verrucht in the Porsche 911, Suki Yokata in the Acura NSX, and Nigel Carborough in the Aston Martin. Make sure you keep it tuned right here on the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. The home of Diecast Sports Action Racing. <laughs>